Okay, so metric conversions are just converting between things in the metric system. Um, pretty much everyone in the world uses the metric system other than the, other than the U.S. Um, at this point in class, normally someone Googles it and tells me the one or two other random places that don't use the metric system. Um, but things like mass and, sorry, grams for mass and meters for length. Um, this is what most of the world and the scientific community uses. So you may have learned um, this. People have different mnemonics for remembering that set of letters. Um, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk is probably the one you were told in middle school. Um, or King Henry doesn't buy dumb cheap mice. Whatever you want. Um, this order of letters helps us do metric conversions. The B stands for base, meaning something without a prefix. So for instance, meter rather than centimeter or kilometer um, or grams rather than kilograms or milligrams. So something without a prefix. Um, and all of these other letters stand for the prefixes themselves. So the K is for kilo, um, the C is for centi, I'm only giving the ones we actually use, and the M is for milli. So kilometer, kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, kilogram, centigram, etc. So there are other bases, uh, liter we use also liter and milliliter. Um, and then how this works is visually. Um, we start on this scale with whatever unit we're currently in, and we move to whatever unit we want to be in. So for instance, if I want to convert 1800 milliliters to liters, I don't know if that's on the screen, but to liters, I'm currently at milliliters. I want to be at liters, which is the base, because liters doesn't have a prefix. I hop from letter to letter, not the spaces between, but from letter to letter. So I'm at the M, it goes one, two, three spots to the left will get me to the base, to liter without a prefix. So I move the decimal three, three spots to the left. Now there's no decimal written here, but if there were, it would be at the end of the number, and I would move it one, to three spots to the left to get an answer of 1.8 liters. Um, 1.05 kilometers. If I want to convert that to millimeters. Um, it's a big way to go, but that's okay. We can do it. I'm now starting at kilo, because I have kilometers, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six to the left, or sorry, to the right, six to the right to get to millimeters. So this 1.05, I move the decimal twice to the right, but I need to move it six times. So one, two, three, four more times, I fill in with zeros. It was two to get to the other side of the five, and then four more, so that I did six total. And that would be millimeters. Um, if you have other preferred ways of doing metric conversions, go for it. You are never going to be required to do things my way, as long as you show on paper what it is you do. Um, so like you can show the moving of the decimal like that. Um, that's it.